Hello everybody, Sheroi Pin African is back at it with another video. Today I will be touching the topic on Malcolm X and what led up to his death. So in 1964, I will go to April of 1964, he had this speech called the Battle of the Bullet. So the Battle of the Bullet just was describing how Africans could unite and you don't have to do nothing with religion either. It was about unity, it was about economic, it was, that was his philosophy. Mm -mm -mm. Hello everybody, it's your Roy Pan African is back at it with another video. Today we'll be touching the topic on what led up to Malcolm X death. And so it was 1964. It was I believe April of 1964. No, no, no. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Pan African. It's back out of another video. Today, we'll be touching the topic on Malcolm X's death and what led to Malcolm X's death. So, it was the year of 1964 in April. Um, Malcolm resigned from being a part of the NOI, but he still said he is a Muslim. And he still give credit to Elijah Muhammad, the one who opened up his eyes and make him see things different in life, things of that nature. So, in April of 1964, he resigned from the NOI. So, May of 1964, he went to Africa. He went to Ghana, West Africa. He went through all other villages around in Africa. So, he organized a group called the Afro-Americans. Whether you have one drop of black in your blood, you're African. You're black. Whether you was broad, nose, big lip, whatever. <laughs> one drop of black in your uh, body, you are black. So, he built this organization in the African community. And then, he taught them, you know, to set aside their differences a deficit and let's come together let's join and let's you know get economic wealth and things of that nature so it was his teaching on economic wealth and providing for yourself and don't ask nothing from the white man that got uh the whole nation attention throughout the whole entire world it got white folks' attention, black folks, whatever folks. It got a lot of people's attention. So European Jews knew for a fact that Malcolm really was for his people when he created and um, built what's called the Afro <coughs> Afro Americans. Excuse me. So Afro Americans, they went to Harlem, New York. Afro Americans was getting their people to build this economic wealth. And to provide for themselves and in may of 1964 malcolm went to saudi arabia had a pilgrims to mecca changed malcolm x to his original real name el Hajj malik el shabazz and it was this guy in saudi arabia who was like, wow, this Malcolm, Malcolm seemed kind of like kind of shy, you know, you know, Malcolm got this great voice and everything. He electrifies the people, the crowd rejoice and love him. Like this guy's really shy. That was his approach. That was the impression he was giving off. So he changed his name from Malcolm to El Hajj Malik El Shabazz in February. 25th 1965 in Autumn Ballroom in Harlem, New York Malcolm was assassinated people said it was the NOI or the government because when Malcolm went to the mosque he noticed the FBI was following him taking photos of him and everything every time when he looked on his left or right side or the corner in Bazaar, he would see the FBI in every 
um, way he was looking around. So people would say, was that? To me, my belief on the situation, I think that it was part of the government and the FBI had to do with it. It was a government, everybody in and NOI too, I would say. But a simple fact is that the NOI knew how powerful Malcolm X's impact was on not only black America, but white America and outside. They knew how impactful his mark was and he, he was gaining way more attention than the representative of Allah, Elijah Muhammad. So that's my belief on it. Government definitely knew that Malcolm was for his people, I would say. FBI, they already knew it was up to. But the government really hired the FBI. That's the FBI duty. That's the agenda. So it was brutal how the, how the way Malcolm got murdered. In front of his wife and his four children, the children had to see their father, their father being brutally shot multiple times until he was breathing, until he couldn't breathe anymore. And Malcolm was born 1925, died age of 39. Yeah. He would have, if he still would be alive, he would have been 94 years of age. Yep. So I hope everybody enjoy this message. Uh, give me your thoughts on this video. Comment, like, subscribe, turn on post, turn on post notifications, and I will be back with another video.